Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Brave and Carrot. Your favorite inconsistent YouTuber is back with another video, just talking about where I've been, what I've been doing. So it's a general life update before I get into the sort of um, the meat and bones of what I'm going to be doing um, past this point. So um, let's just talk. Um, uh, before before we get into this, the footage is from a game called Neon White. If this game looks interesting to you, um, be sure to check it out. It costs money, so keep that in mind. Um, it's, a, it's a game in which it incentivizes you to speed run levels as fast as possible. Um, but it's clearly it's clearly optional. You don't have to do it, but it, you basically gotta go fast if you want to get like 100% of this game. But anyway, what have I been doing with my life? I've been super busy. Nine months, I, I assume I haven't checked my channel a bit, but nine months I haven't uploaded. And why is that? Well, for starters, I felt so uninspired to do videos and a lack of, like, any sort of motivation to make content. And I feel like that's because ideas aren't really generating and flowing as well as they should when I first started. I had all these plans and ideas with my friend groups and just, um, you know, personal projects, singular projects, but it just doesn't come together as well when you're in the mix of making such content or planning it. And I have scripts. I have many scripts of which I have taken the time out of my day to work on, but will you ever see a video on it? Probably not. I have like a blue lock video that I was planning to do. I have a Celeste video in which I gotta do because I, I, I did say that I was gonna do it. And then I also had um, a video project in which was planned um, with me and my friends, um, in which does, doesn't really, you know, go through very well. It didn't reach all the motions, but anywho. We'll talk about the condition of this channel a little bit later. For now, let's talk about what I've been doing. In real life, I've been busy with just sorting out my life. So, for example, beginning jobs. I've been making sure I ha I earn that money, that good that good moolah, um, to ensure that my life is stable and overall in a good spot. I don't want to ever feel like I'm struggling, and I want to feel um, content with my life through what I'm earning. Um, so within the time I finished college, which was about a year ago now, um, or reaching up about a year, um, I have I positioned myself for a job as a support care worker, and I worked um, helping the um, disabled to ensure that they live just as much of an equal opportunity life um, to every ordinary person. And I wanted to do do my do my best to help. And during that time, I was also working on something in which um, I was working on finding a job in which um, closely correlates to stuff in which I wanted to do as a career path. And that was like within the realm of business and IT. So um, eventually, um, later later on last year, um, around October time. I became a full-time business admin worker. Now that seems like a crazy job title for someone that's 19, but that's just how it is. I, I just ended up in a very fortunate situation. I ended up being in the right place at the right time, and I'd like to be very thankful for that because I enjoy my job. There are such, there were some stresses that I had, but of course, like stress comes with every job, and overall. I'm very happy with the position I work, um, with the people that I work uh, with, and the um, the overall cause that I work for. I will not disclose it because I don't want to give too much information away for people to run with. But um, overall, I'm quite happy with my current real life standing uh, in terms of my career path and um, that, in that in which sets me up in the future. But what else has been going on? Well, um, in real life has also taken quite the mental toll on me. Um, 
most likely because of the influence in which online is giving me. Online seems like such a such a negative space. You barely see anything positive. And it's crazy to me to think so much has happened within this year alone that I've gone out my way to flat out avoid talking to some people and also flat out ignoring the use of some social media sites like Twitter and Instagram and um, YouTube even. I've gone out my way to just avoid that stuff and just go into my own um, hibernation to, I don't know, think. I've just been thinking a lot. Now that's healthy to be sort of in the midst of your own thoughts and to assess what is correct, what is real, what is not. It's it's sort of feeling like you're in that sort of own simulation where nothing feels real. It's all hyper-realistic. But in any case, it's been a struggle and I hope to overcome the sort of mental toll and uh, any mental boundaries in which I currently have through time. I am doing the best I can, um, especially with the situations I've been put in and the situations um, that I've you know, that I faced within constant amount of times. So, anyway. Now down to what I've been doing online. So what have I been up to online? The main thing, um, I've been doing a lot of Minecraft, and specifically the Minecraft in which I've always been looking forward to doing, and this is regarding testing for events and playing in small events. So, what does that mean? What does that entail? So, I'll start off by shouting out Battle for the Island. That is a great server in which you should definitely check out. I'll leave a link in the description. Hopefully, it does. Hopefully, it's a link. Um, it's a, hopefully a Discord server in which you can access the link of and join very easily. We basically, um, for this server, they hold monthly um, MCCI based tournaments. Um, not in lobbies. It's all public lobbies and basically uh, accounted for how many points you get um, overall through the five games you play. So it's basically every game besides Dino Ball and the normal Parkour Warrior. And it's super fun. And I've been doing that. I've been enjoying it. I did the event yesterday and actually recorded footage of it. Will you see that as a video later on down the line? Maybe. I'm going to take time editing it and I'm going to make sure that it's all like well put together. I did have a scuffed time trying to record the beginning, but it ended up turning out okay and overall fun time. I will not, like, at all try to dampen the humour in which was in it, because I'm pretty sure everyone on my team, and even me, um, had an especially good time. We were all laughing and just goofing around. It seemed like a lot of fun. And then past that, past that event, um, I've also become a tester for MCC. It's actually mental to think about. It's still it's still kind of baffling to me that this is even a possibility. This is the reality in which I live in. But I am an MCC tester and I'm not gonna really I'm not gonna be one of those people that leak shit. So I'm not gonna talk about much more besides the fact that I'm just extremely happy with um, the position that I managed to get myself in um, to sign up for event testing and be available for it and meet so many new people and having that opportunity to play um, in an event as a tester um, for an event in which I've watched for many, many years. Um, I mean, you could tell how much I love MCC and everything to do with MCC because of the fact that I, I've just, I've, pl I've played <laughs> MCC Island, I've recorded videos on them. Um, and besides those videos doing really well, I've, I've also just really enjoyed playing MCC Island um, during the beginning um, the beginning flourishment of it. Uh, of course, now I'm a less active Minecraft player because I have other stuff going on. Like, a full-time job keeps me occupied, I'm very occupied from playing any games in general. So, um, see, looking, at, looking on that specifically, um, as much as I am in a better position um, in terms of my career and ensuring that I'm financially stable, I'm not as free to do stuff like this, make videos and play games. Which brings me to the sort of main point of this video and why I'm making it. 
what's the direction of this channel? A lot has happened. I've made scripts, I've made plans for videos in which never go through. I'm still doing content on other people's channels, um, by which I mean I'm featuring on other people's channels whenever they feel like um, making the videos or uploading them or have a video planned with me. Shiny Golden Lotus is the main one who we are currently recording a Soul Link together. Um, we had recorded another Soul Link, but we don't know if we will actually be working on that one in comparison to the current one that we're doing. I also recorded some stuff with the Aura Guardian. Yeah, man, I'm friends with the Aura Guardian. That's kind of crazy. Um, friend groups kind of work out in wild ways. And that, that video was actually recorded yesterday, but I'm not going to disclose what it is because um, for, for the benefit of his channel and, you know, having a surprise. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be cool. And what am I going to do from now on? Well, gaming content seems like a must because I feel, I feel as if though it's a chill way to just, you know, do things. But I just want to upload the things I want to upload. I want to feel like I have the sort of creative liberties in order to just upload things I like to, I like to do. I like to, uh, I like to play. But I also want to upload projects in which have me inspired. I want to, I want to talk about Blue Lock at some point, and I want to make a video on that. But it feels so outlandishly different in comparison to the other content on my channel. People are going to be so confused when getting into a Blue Lock video and then just realizing I do gaming videos um so what is the genre of my channel i just want to make content in which i like and hopefully can inspire people and have people enjoy the content that i make no matter what i'm doing um well n not that but mostly like just things in which correspond to my personality in which people can then enjoy so from that i can safely say um, this channel, I'm going to try and upload. I'm not going to keep a very consistent schedule. I'm not going to say I'm uploading like once a week or twice a week. or I'm not going to upload once a month. I'm just going to upload whenever I feel like I can or feel like I want to put in the effort. And it's been a really big struggle to say that, I've, um, that I wanted to do this. Because I don't even know if I want to do YouTube. And I'm not saying that because it's not going anywhere and I'm not getting popular because that's an unrealistic standard. I don't expect to get popular. I'm just saying like for the time and effort that I put in to these videos, I could be doing stuff with my life in which would further boost me along the path to um, get me to further places in which I can feel happy. But at the same time, I'm not doing anything. So with my free time, I'm pretty much just sitting around playing games of like Pokemon Unite for some reason and just not doing much. So this this is why I'm going to make it official a statement. I'm coming back to upload, not consistently, just enough. Just enough to where it doesn't seem like I've quit. Um, and from all that, um, what you got to take away from this is the fact that I do have videos planned but it's going to take a hell of a lot of time in order to fully put my all into it. I have a script for a Blue Lock video in which it's almost complete. I have a script um, that is starting for a Celeste video in which I was supposed to do. I had put out a poll on my Twitter quite a while ago and people voted on me making a Celeste video. And I've not really started much on that. So hopefully at some point we can get to that. But for now, this is where I am. This is what I've been doing. Ha um, how am I feeling now? Can't say. Very confused, very mixed bag. I want to say that I'm happy. But at the same time, I'm not going to be happy later. So hopefully I'm stable. That's, that's all I can hope for. And yeah, a lot of stuff has happened online, offline, in which has affected me mentally. But talking about it here will just give that sort of negative space. And I just kind of want to look forward and look up and just be able to think positively about the channel's future. Who am I going to do content with? Who am I going to um, play with? What games am I going to play? I'm hoping that Silk Song comes out soon. But that's that's something in which I know isn't too possible um, for me to 
think about because we don't even have like a confirmed release date or an updated trailer since like two years ago so whatever anywho thank you all so much for watching i hope to see you guys in the comments um sharing positive vibes positive love towards one another or um you being excited to see my inconsistent upload schedule kind of back and i can hear my cat meowing out my outside my door anyway thank you all so much for joining me for this video if you want to stick around for the ride hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos of me just talking about like possible stories like this um hit the like button let me know um i don't i don't mind however way you let me know as long as it's positive <laughs> if it's negative then i'm just going to perceive it as oh damn people don't like this style of video but anywho thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all later